Monday's here, and Monday means mailbag. It's cash the ticket, rate, review, subscribe. We appreciate you guys. We'll get to your mailbag questions at the end of this Monday episode. But we have to start, Mike, with the wedding recap. How was it? Were you able to watch the games? Give people the breakdown because you were very apprehensive going yeah. in. Uh, I will tell you, I think there are certain times in a man's life where you get these opportunities to effect change, um, to change hearts and minds, if you will. And I was presented with that opportunity on Saturday. And only through my conviction, uh, bravery, if you will, <laughs> and boldness, I was yeah. able to do that. And I think I've changed what accepted protocol at weddings is from here on out. Because I will tell you, I brazenly and boldly was operating a quad box. There was a so quad a box photo. Break this at the down. wedding. Yeah, yeah, well, that was one short of the expanded quad we had box. like an iPad, someone's little cell so, phone on the side. Yeah, well, what we did is we had two iPads center stage, yep. flanked by cell phone to the left, cell phone to the right, four kickstands all engaged. <laughs> We had quad box. Kickstand engaged. Now, the, the, the box grew with. We, we, so, all right. So, first of all, I will tell you, Michigan State ruined the groom's day. I'm helping the groom with his bow tie. As MSU is clown carring and blowing a 24 to 6 lead to the point where he is showing so little focus for his own wedding. I had to almost slap him and go Brando on him and go, you can act like a man. Like, you gotta let it go. They stink. This is your wedding day. Don't let this punter ruin your day. Gonna need you to focus. <laughs> well, which punter? Because they fucking rotate them. <laughs> which punter, Tim? I, I know the Tuesday episode's gonna be explosive. We need to no. go through it. So it my point is, I had to focus the groom. Effect change, boldness. And I told the troops, I said, boys, here's the deal. I will lay on this grenade if I need to. Okay, I, we're going to go in and we're at the head table. So we're up on that riser. And I said, fellas, if I can find any cover, I'm bringing the iPad up there. And they went, ah, oh, no, 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 you can't. You're going to get I us go, in trouble. Trust. So I found, we had the centerpieces. It was going to give me about 80% cover. And then you know what hit the table? The bread bowl. So with the bread bowl next to the centerpiece, I not only had the iPad up there, I kickstanded it. I stood the fucking thing up. And I angled it at about 45 degrees so the three guys to my right could partake. So now, as they're turning to the left, quote, looking at the speeches. Of course. Nah, nah. They were looking at Texas A&M and Tennessee. They were looking at live action. Now, this is during speeches. Mm -hmm. Now, it was muted. Of course. I, I yeah, couldn't. Laughing. Like, what? I couldn't do we, that. We, we got Nestler in the background during the speech. Touchdown. <laughs> it was the best day of his life when he met her. Touchdown, Oregon. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. So here's the deal. Once the speeches were done, we expanded. So what I did is, you know how there's always the one table where you know the most people? Mm -hmm. We then went mobile. Because I didn't want any part of the the, the head table anymore. Mm -hmm. And the dance floor, you can fuck off with that. So we walked. We didn't see Mikey cutting a rug? Hell no. I hate dancing. Dancing is like people's cries for attention. It's like, I wasn't hugged enough. Here, look at me. Hey, the, you know what? You're not a backup dancer for MC Hammer. Take a fucking seat. Go eat your cake. I went over to the table where I knew the most people. And one of, one of them's a friend of 20 years. I gave him the look. He gave me the look. He goes, all right, I'll go get the iPad. So, so what we did is we set up. Center console, two kickstanded iPads, streaming. Center stage, we had Notre Dame USC, we had Wyoming Air Force, flanked by Georgia State Marshall cell phone mm -hmm. and Oregon State UCLA. So we had four games we had action on. I'm on Notre Dame, I'm on Air Force, I'm on Georgia State, I'm on over in the UCLA game. And what took place to me was fabulous. I had, word was traveling. There was a buzz in the air, Evan. Word was traveling. You could see your favorite game if you moseyed to the other end of the main place. I had a gentleman from the groom's side of the family. And he goes, hey, nice to meet you. Um, I was told, and clearly I can see, games are going on here. 
I went to Texas A&M. Would you mind? No problem. We had another gentleman come over. Cousin of all places. Cousin goes to USC. Come on by. Yeah. Now, I didn't charge them. I should have. That would have been a great racket. My point is. Cover charge. Velvet rope to get back into this part of the venue. Well, we became the cool table. And no one could get mad at us because I, what I received was the opposite of what you see in Washington, D.C. and in Congress. I had bipartisan support. So both bride and grooms? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Families, everybody cool? Nobody was... Well, uh, I don't really care. I think it really comes well, down to... I want to know, though. If like, the bride... Well, it was... Okay, when the hypothetical of what I was going to do was presented to the power brokers of the wedding, yeah. there were a couple voices of dissent to which I said, A... I have the bride and groom support, so you can pipe down. And B, let me remind you what I do for a living. Now, if I wanted to be a broke dick radio host who half-assed their gig, and that's why I I wouldn't be successful, I would just say, fuck it, I'm at a wedding. I don't do such things. I don't do it. The only time I didn't have games on is when we went out for a post-wedding little cigar outside, QT with the the guys, Mm -hmm. no problem. And we had already swept the late board. Night heavy. Uh, night heavy card. I actually, that was on my boutonniere. I had a little sign that said night heavy. Like a little flat, like it was like a piece of flair from office space. <laughs> like the glowing martini glasses. I, I love it. Or uh, margarita glasses. But Jim, we changed the way people perceive a wedding. It can be romance. It can be loving. It can also be functional for your guests. Hey, the reality is, you didn't ruin anything. All the speeches happened. No. The two got married. The people who wanted to dance and make a fool of themselves and get drunk, they got to do all that. Oh, that's right. You oh, didn't b- stop anybody oh, by from the having way, their moment Evan, of their fun. Just, Evan, in, in case, now this was when one of the iPads was taken away. Yeah, take a That's, that's the, tr- the tri-box, the triple box. Um, we really got, got it going. And, and again, I mean, I still was able to uh, still be dashing. I mean, I still was. Oh, look at you. I was in the mix. Yeah. Boutonniere was solid. Pocket Square was immaculate. We hit the night card. And I think men walked away from that experience going, you know what? I want my wedding day to be this way. And I take full credit for that. So we survived it. Everything was great. Bride looked beautiful. Groom didn't vomit all over himself. No embarrassing speeches. None of the bridesmaids got so hammered on Prosecco they couldn't speak and couldn't deliver a speech. It was really good. Everybody held it together fun time, and we swept the night card. The night heavy wedding. The night, it it is the night that I think I've changed Midwestern weddings forever. The quad box is not only acceptable, it's encouraged. There are emails. Shout out Breadbasket. There are, yes. There are emails referencing fall weddings, some takes, some feedback. We can get to it. it. We'll get to it, but first. I was watching Oregon and Washington against a bread bowl. Does it get better? Little short rib on the menu was delightful. Food was a solid A minus. I was very pleased with that. Carry on. What were you saying? No. Oh, I wanted by to... the way, look what's also made an appearance. And Evan, I can't. I can't can no longer seal close the envelope. It. I can't close it. The free play hit the again. The free play envelope. Where Jim later in this episode will be put to a choice, or it might be on the Tuesday episode. Bum 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 bum. bum. bum.